In this video, I will show you how to create a client application that will connect to a Red5 server application called Test App. In the last video, I showed you how to deploy the Test App application to your web apps directory. And now that it's there, we can connect to it through a client application. So the first thing to do is create a FLA file. And with frame one selected, open the actions panel. and then type in all of this code. First, we import the namespace flash.net.netConnection and flash.net.responder. Then we create a new netconnection object, and we connect to the server app using the path rtmp, localhost, and then test app. Test app is the name of our context path inside red5-web.properties in the server application. Then we add some event listeners to listen for the status of the connection and a security error. And the status of the connection will use the event handler called netConnectionHandler, and that will print out the status of the connection, either success, failed, or invalid app. Next, we want to call the add function on the server application, this add function here. So we use netconnection.call and then pass it the name of the function and then pass it a responder object and pass it two parameters, two and three, and it will add two and three together and return five. And the responder object nr is created here and it is passed this function called netresponderhandler. That function is here, and it will receive the result of the add function that's called on the server. So when this print statement prints out, it will say the result is 5. So now we can run this FLA file. And we can see that the output is netconnection.connect.success, and the result is 5. So it connected successfully to the Red5 server application. Now the first time I tried this, I got netconnection.connect.invalidapp, and I restarted my computer, and now it is working. So if you get that error, invalid app, then try restarting your computer. Also, I noticed after I restarted my computer that the testapp.war file that I had copied here originally has disappeared. One more thing I should mention. I'm running this locally, which means I have the client and the server application on the same computer, so I'm using localhost. If you want to connect to an application on a different computer or a server, then you should use the IP address of that server here instead of localhost.